I have four words for you. Dollar store makeup online. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about where you can get makeup for one dollar. I'm not playing. There's an online store that sells makeup for one dollar, but before I tell you what that store is, if you could just give that subscribe button a click, I would appreciate it so much. Okay, so I'm going to be very honest with you. This is not exactly an unboxing because I've already opened everything. Because when this package came, I tore into it like a ravenous badger. I just could not wait to open it. I was so excited about seeing what a dollar makeup that I could buy online would be like. The name of the store is Miss A, and the website is, it's on this bag that it came in, shopmissa.com. So today, I'm gonna tell you everything I got at that store for $1. And then I'm gonna do a try on. I'm gonna wash my face and put on a full face of Miss A's makeup. Okay, so everything I'm about to show you costs one dollar, except for one item that costs a dollar eighty-eight. I will tell you what that is when I get to it. This mirror that I thought would be a lot larger. This beauty blender. This little whirly gig to hold it in. These Glow Baby Illuminating Face Drops. This Wonder Skin Primer. This Amuse Color Correcting Palette. This Amuse 2-in-1 Concealer. This AOA Perfect Face Powder. This Amuse Eyeshadow Palette. This Amuse Blush Duo. This Amuse Gel Liner. This Amuse Eyeliner. This Amuse White Eyeliner. These three mascaras cost $1 a piece. This Brow Pencil. This Lip Gloss. This Lip Pencil. This Other Lip Gloss. This Bullet Lipstick. This Flawless Setting Spray. These false eyelashes. The eyelash glue is the product that cost $1.88. And I also got a set of brushes. And to top it all off, I got a bag to hold it all in. And that is my Miss A haul. Okay, so now I'm gonna go take off the makeup that I have on right now and come back with a fresh face so we can try out all this fabulous bargain priced makeup. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the AOA Skin Perfecting Primer. It's called Wonder Skin. And this is, again, children, in no way a tutorial. I don't know what I'm doing. I just like to shop online and then put things on my face. That's just how my life works. I'm not giving you advice. And you should take nothing that I do as advice. Oh, that's actually a pretty decent primer for a dollar. Feels good. There's no scent. It's not heavily scented. Feels nice. Um, I think the primer is a win. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to do some color correcting, which I'm not entirely sure how this works, but we're going to see how it goes. So I'm taking the Amuse color correcting palette. I'm going to try this purple to kind of brighten up my eyes to see if that light lavender will do anything. That's not advice. That's just what I'm trying. We'll see if that makes my circles better or worse. I don't know, I can never tell. And now we're gonna go in with the two-in-one concealer and foundation. This really surprised me when I opened it because it comes with a doe foot, like concealer. And I would expect it to come with maybe one squeezy in 
and one doe foot end or just a squeezy. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about putting on my foundation with this kind of applicator, but we're going to give it a shot. Oh, it smells nice. Like, I smell kind of lovely. I'm a fan of this scent. And now I'm going to go in with my $1 Beauty Blender, which yes, I have used already. And blend it in like I know what I'm doing. Which again, I do not. Not in most aspects of my life. But I like to try. It smells just wonderful. Um, it's not really a full coverage thing, but it goes on well, it blends well. It, my skin looks nicer than it did before I put it on. I would recommend it for a dollar, especially if you don't need a lot of product. And to finish up my face, I am going to take this AOA Perfecting Powder and put a little bit on a brush. And I'm going to go underneath my eyes to kind of try to set that. Because I've seen other people do that. I'm not sure how it works. But it looks good on them. Oh, this smells nice too. Like if they bottled this then I would wear it as a perfume. Okay, I don't think that that is so bad for, for a buck. All right, now we are going to give the eyeshadow a try. I'm probably just going to do two shades in the interest of time. I was actually supposed to go somewhere today. Okay, and now I'm gonna put this darker color in my crease. And now I'm gonna take this pretty sparkly, kind of goldish, and put it on my lid. I don't know if you can really see this in my camera, but it's really not bad for a dollar. Now we will try the blush duo. I think I'm gonna try the darker shade. Oh, it smells good. It smells really excellent. Okay, it says blush, but it looks a little more like bronzer, but I mean, it gives me some nice color. I don't hate it. That's not bad. Now I'm gonna try some of the illuminating drops. We're gonna experiment. And I'm gonna take some of the illuminating drops. I'm just gonna very carefully do like three dots on each side. A little bit of a, oh, I don't know. I didn't put it on right. It's not the highlight, it's me. It's not the highlight, it's my fault. I don't know how to use it. I think I'm gonna use the gel because that's what I use a lot. Brush it on the lid. But this costs a dollar. Okay, and I'm gonna go under. It's getting the job done. I mean, it's turning out pretty well. Okay, now let's uh, try out this eyebrow pencil. Now I'm going to take the brush side and do this. I don't know if that does anything, but I feel like I'm doing something. I mean, I'm having a really good time with this dollar makeup. Alright, I did play with these. And I'm going to see if I can get them back on my eyes. So what I'm going to do is take the eyelash glue, which did cost $1.88. It did cost a teeny bit more. I'm going to put it on this. Let's see if the other side will go on too. That went a little too well. I'm very scared of this other side now. I'm afraid it's not gonna work. I'm afraid this isn't gonna work out for me at all. Okay. I 
Okay, and now I've seen people put mascara on their false eyelashes, so we're gonna do that. I have Amuse Voluminous Mascara, and I'm gonna put that on these eyelashes because I've seen, I've seen it done. I don't know if that's really what you're supposed to do, but I'm pretty sure I've seen other people do it. They probably know what they're doing. I'll trust them. They're on YouTube, they know what they're doing. That's kind of pretty. All right, now I'm gonna finish up with, I think the bullet lipstick. I'm gonna use my other mirror for this. Oh, it smells like berries. And I'm gonna put gloss on top of that. And then I'm going to use the setting spray and our $1 face will be done. How about that? Set our $1 face with some $1 setting spray. Okay, let's see if I can manage to not make a weird face when I do the setting spray. I'm pretty sure I was not successful and I'm pretty sure that also totally jacked up my eyelashes. <laughs> uh, I think you should put on the setting spray before your false eyelashes. Okay guys, this is what a $1 face from Shop Miss A looks like. I definitely think you should go check it out. I had a great time shopping there. I had a great time playing with the products and I think you will too. Give it a shot. Okay. Now I want you to go out and have the best day that you can have. And if you want to help me have the best day that I can have, you can hit that subscribe button, you can give me a like, you can turn on that bell for notifications, and I will see you next time. Bye!